What's up everybody? This is Isaac with Delux Detail Service. I was wanting to make a quick video of my latest addition to my detail setup. I haven't made a video yet about my trailer setup, but I've been using it a lot. It's pretty dirty. Got my water tank and everything in there with the full shebang. And my power cord. It's still in the process. But what I'm wanting to make a video about today is my tool organization. So for years, I've been using th this exact plastic dresser. I keep my rags, brushes, well, the, uh, like uh, all-purpose rags in the top, brushes in the middle, and then my paint, paint rags in the bottom. And surprisingly, it's held up great. I've been using it for years. Like this just recently cracked, but that was after lots of it. This thing has fallen. It's really been beat up over the years. But it's worked great. And it doesn't take up much space. But I've just wanted to, since I'm upgrading things slowly, I've just wanted to uh, just upgrade to something higher quality. And also, I wanted, I used to keep my polishers and my batteries bags just laying on the floor and I wanted to get away from that because they just slide everywhere I just don't like it so my latest purchase is this Craftsman trade stack it's the upgraded version from the Craftsman Versa stack and in this video I'm not necessarily saying that the trade stack is the best like mobile toolbox system i'm just saying that any mobile toolbox system is a great storage solution for a mobile detailer i'm not saying they're the best ones there's a dewalt tough system the milwaukee pack out ridge has got one they're all good systems i was actually wanting to i was originally just wanting to get the basic versus stack at lowe's but they were sold out of those and only had the trade stack. And the trade stack is like supposed to be upgraded from the Versa stack. It's like harder plastic and everything. I would have been fine with the regular Versa stack, but this was there, so I got it and I was tired of waiting. So I will show you my setup. And I haven't used it yet, but I'm pretty excited to. It's on wheels, so I can just wheel it to all my jobs, like on boat docks and fields and just anywhere. So I might make some changes as I go, but so far I keep, let's see if I can open this with one hand, I keep brushes and kind of random tools in the top, like drill brushes, and just, that's the top, and then to unlock it you just Okay, this is gonna be hard to do with one hand. I'm gonna have to pause it and edit this. All right guys, in the bottom tier, I shoved all my rags in there. It's kind of, I have my paint rags and regular rags in there. Some anal people like to keep them completely separated and never let them touch, but it'll be okay. So I have wash mitts and rags and everything in the bottom one. I haven't used this system yet, but I'm thinking it's gonna work out great. Now let's go to the bottom one. All right guys, we're on the bottom tier. It's the biggest box. So on top here, I got all my batteries. I use dual cordless everything. So I got a bag full of batteries. I have my backup polisher, drill, my rotary, my dual action. And then my small six or no, a three inch dual action for tight spaces. So, pretty much, I'm always using this. And I use cordless everything. It's been the best decision I've made so far. And that is my new storage solution for my mobile detailing setup so isaac with deluxe detail service based out of joplin missouri 
If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you for watching my video and I'll catch you on the next one.